What is poppin' my Wada Apple Gangers? It is Dak Green Waddle D with another episode of Bug Fables. Last time we did uh, quests, of course, after we completed the Coliseum, a lot of quests opened up to us, and uh, we got them all done. Any key items? Nope. Um, I'm trying to think. No, I think, I think, um, we're going to want to check out Metal Lake now, and I think we're going to want to do stuff around there, but let's check on Artis. Uh, good job, folks. You defeated that hardened moth. Eva. Oh, was it too challenging for you? You deserve a reward. Here, take this. TP plus metal. Uh, uh. What did I say when I said these TP plus metals are distributed stupidly? Primal Weevil 2. Resist all metal. Decreases an ally's chance of receiving bad status effects by 50%. And, uh, no Zasp? There's no Zasp? He just said Moth Eva. He didn't say, like, Moth Eva and Zasp. Um, anyways, let's talk about the metals we got, which I already forgot. Um, well, there was Resist All, which should be somewhere around here. Resist All is three metal points. And you can just avoid this by blocking attacks. So it's like, it's not really worth, it's not really worth using. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be for real with you. Um, so yeah. Anyways, what else? Oh yeah, we got a TP plus. I mean, at this point, like, we're getting a lot of TP pluses. Might make use of them, might not make use of them. I have no idea. I My strategies have been just using a lot of metal points. So I was like, okay. You know, it's good when you're using Ice Rain, though, because that's a very TP hungry skill. Okay, so first of all... Oh, shoot. I might have to go over, over that right now. Um... So first of all, I wanted to cop, I wanted to cop, uh, where is it, where is it, oh, we get two TP plus as well. I wanted to cop status relay, uh, because I may or may not use it, but let's talk about, uh, this over here, what, what is this, tell us. Welcome to the Termacade. You are new players, aren't you? Since this is our grand opening, here's something to get you started. 15 game tokens. Tokens for the Termite Game Arcade. Trade it for prizes. You can check how many tokens you have in the key item menu. Have fun at the Termacade. We get a discovery for that if you talk to the lady. The Termite Kingdom is proud to bring the Termacade to the Ant City. Uh, come play fun games to earn tokens, which you can use to trade for unique prizes only here at the Termacade. So this place opened once that entrepreneur moved in. Uh, hello, welcome to the Termicades exchange counter. How may I help you today? So you can buy tokens. Each token costs three berries. Uh, you can exchange tokens. So look at all this stuff you can buy with tokens. You can buy tangy berries with tokens. You can buy spicy fries, magic seed, bag of flour. And you can buy these five metals and notice how they're all leaf skills and notice how they're all they all have plus at the end it's because they're like more powerful versions of empower and feeble fortify break charge up that's all there is to these metals really they're not super interesting basically they uh notice how break uh, lowers all enemies defense by one for three turns instead of two and charge up does uh, charges up your whole party instead and power plus boosts the whole party for three turns and feeble reduces all enemies attack for three turns so they all do it for three turns and they usually target like every one on one side if it's a buffing skill it buffs your whole party if it's a you know, um, debuffing skill, it will nerf the enemy. Um, or nerf every enemy, you know. So here's the high scores. Might Knight, Flower Journey, um, 9,500 and 4,500. Here's the thing, I'm just not feeling like playing here today, I'm sorry. 
uh, I want to do other stuff that I think will be more fun. So, I'm going to skip out on that for today. I'm sorry, boys. Maybe next episode, probably next episode, uh, before we progress in the story. Because we're getting pretty close to done with all the stuff before we actually, you know, progress through Chapter 6. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to Metal Lake now. Um, so I'm going to go to the Underground Tavern, actually, because I wanted to cop... I have 11 crystal berries. I wanted to cop defense exchange because I think it's an interesting metal for sure. And I wanted to try it out maybe. So we're going to cop defense exchange from the underground tavern for five crystal berries. Not my first recommendation to grab, but it's a decent metal for sure. Alrighty. Here we are on metal, uh, in metal lake. Uh, I think we're gonna go around here, yeah, and let's check out this little island. Get off at this island, yes we will. No music or anything, just the sound of water. Splashing. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a way to get over that rock. Uh, what's that? What's what? Uh, a beat? Music? How alluring. Let's see if we can find its source. I can't really hear anything. Uh, we can fly over this gap. Looks like there might be something behind that waterfall. Venus is here. Let's talk. Climbing that water is pretty rough. You sure you got the right skill? Uh, I don't know. Do I? Um, if I fly... I just did the little, like, flying bug, you know, where I... If you get on top of this, can you just fly? So basically, I'm holding uh, the fly button a little bit, right? And then I jump, and then I can get over this. But how would you get across this normally, is what I'm wondering. Uh, would you, like... Can you fly around this rock? I feel like I've tried this before. Yeah, you definitely can. Yep. So you can fly around that. But I mean, doing this is really not that hard, and you can get over that other thing really easily. So we get onto this side now, right? You might be wondering what the heck we do over here. Oh well. So let's jump up here and see what's up here. Because it looks like there's some stuff up here. Uh, let's read. Everyone left on the rescue ferry, but I chose to stay. There's such a soothing beat. How could I leave this place behind? I've got to find where it comes from. I've got to. And we got a discovery for that. It is Peacock Island. Um, alright. Let's check. Uh, anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. So let's get uh, behind this waterfall. Can you just fly over here, or do you just get, like... Okay, you can. The, the beat comes from here. We must climb to the top. We might need a special ice move for this. Blah. Why can't I hear it? <laughs> um, yeah, that special ice move is... Uh, this, you know, icicle. I don't know, what do you call it? Is it... Would you just call it ice rain? Basically, you gotta keep doing this. Be very careful, because if you fall, you'll get sent back. You know, you can't go on any of those platforms, I think. Or, you know, like the one behind us to take a breather. Okay, come on, first try, please. I, I messed up this room so many times. I Thank you. Cutscene. Uh oh We have the Um The Peacock Spider It is the one making all the the soothing beat or whatever. What me mesmerizing sound? It drives me to shake my hips. Alas we must not be distracted. It has constant reinforcements that powers up. Our priority should be this spider. So what do I have in store for you guys? Well, Notice how Leaf has Leaf Cloak. Uh, if he gets targeted, he's probably dead. Kabu has 22 health, because I put 4 HP pluses on him. 
Um, so what's the strategy here, you might be asking? Well, the strategy... We're going to be hard charging Kabu. Um, Leaf is going to relay to Kabu. Kabu's going to relay back because he has status relay. And Leaf is going to ice rain. And I think that's the plan, Stan. He's going to do six damage. He's got uh, two power exchanges on as well. That's honestly not that great of damage. I was expecting more, to be honest. Um, and V, you could use Crispy Donut. Um, but I think you can just relay the leaf. He'll attack other two damage. Champion will do that. Uh, this guy decides to summon this lad. Uh, Kabu's got defense exchange on, and he's also got block heal. Uh, so yeah, he's got defense exchange on, so that's why I cop that. Oh, this guy's gonna be here, really. Gonna be here, ruin my day. The strategy is, you know, it's interesting for sure. Oh yeah, also I decided to give V, uh, life cast, so that she can life cast, like, and, uh, heal Kabu. Wait, why is Secret Stash 3? Is Secret Stash 4 TP? I suppose it is. Um, wait, no. No, it's cause... It's because there might have been some, like, OP strat with it, and you, I think they nerfed it, so Secret Stash only... Dang, that would have been really good if it only costed, uh, 2... 2 HP to use, but... It's whatever, I guess. Um... Uh, I don't really know, like, what... I wanna do here, cause... Kind of just bamboozled, honestly. Like, honestly, this kind of sucks. Because, uh... I need more... Crispy Donuts, probably, to make this work. Um... But I'm gonna wait for an HP core. Um... I'm gonna wait for an HP core. Anyways, uh, or I mean a TP core, and then I can ice rain, and then I can, uh, you know, do my, yeah, I can do my ice rain thing. Uh, anyways, we're gonna, I don't know, what do I wanna do? Why not fly drop? Let's show this, no, let's, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Kabu can't even, like, this is really annoying. How about we just attack with Leaf? Relay the Leaf. Attack with Leaf. Uh, and then attack with V. One damage. Champion. I mean, you can attack. You're not going to do anything, but... Oh! Wait, why? So yeah, as you can see, uh... This guy likes to, Peacock Spider likes to buff, uh, you know, the, its ally, you know. So now, we're gonna do another one of these, another hard charge thingy, my bob. Um, Leaf's gonna do this. And we're gonna Ice Rain. Fuck yeah, okay, I got him. Alright, so now this is putting us in a really good position. We're gonna life cast secret stash Kabu! Get him some nice HP back. And we're in a good position here. I can Crispy Donut do my thing, you know? Uh. Okay, that's a good super block right there. Um. Oh, that really sucks. It has hustle status, so it has two turns. Um, ah, oh crap, what do I want to do here? I mean, I can probably kill it soon, is the thing. 
I'm doing six, so I'm doing 24. I'm doing 24 damage to it each time? Is that what's happening? Mm. Mm. I think I'll, uh... I think I will use a crispy donut with the here, and then we'll just go go again, you know. Uh, although Kabu is gonna be in a bit of a pickle kind of here, so that's why Kabu has so much health, so that he can be using these. So that guy has a bubble shield on, obviously. So, uh, you know, we don't have to try and hit him. So yeah, if we hit the super block, we heal. Because we have block heal. Okay, that's a really important turn, actually. Um... Uh, if I crispy down out here, I can just like, you know, straight up win the fight, right? Right? Like, that's the thing. Um, which I guess, why not? Let's just finish the fight right here. Uh, you can crispy down it up. And this is why crispy down are up. And it's like, this is why they're OP. And it's like, here's the thing, man. At this stage in the game, you can buy literally anything you want. Like, just go stupid with that shit. I showed you that crazy money-making method. You can do whatever you want, man. It's like... Just go wild. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that guy dies. And then, uh, do nothing here. He breaks out. Uh, and at this point, we can just close it. Uh, which is some basic attacks. Leaf should be able to kill here. Good job, Leaf. Good job on not getting targeted, too. I know it's only like a 4% chance each turn, but... Glad. That's a lot of 4% chances that are happening. Anyways, we got a Crystal Feather! Because that was a bounty boss. If we weren't explorers, we might have met our end to that spider. We were completely baited by it. Not me, I couldn't hear it at all. What matters is, no other unfortunate soul will meet its end here. Facts. And we can take a mushroom right back. Thank you very much. Uh, kind of a tough fight, to be honest. Because, you know, obviously my strategy wasn't that overpowered. But you could easily get away with Tauntagark shrooms there. And you would just rip and tear, because they're... Is no AoE attacks, and if a boss has no AoE attacks, it automatically loses to Tauntagar Shrooms, or you know, like, I don't know. Pretty much if you have items, you'll be good. You can use any item-based strategy, really, or you know, you can use the Taunt Do Nothing strats that I showed you guys. That stuff was pretty effective, uh, and you can use it without items, uh, and as long as you have a lot of metal points, you know, it's gonna work out great for you. But... We still managed to win with only using two Crispy Donuts, so uh, I'd say that's pretty good. Anyways, that's Peacock Island. You can get a Discovery, and we're going to turn in, um, we're going to turn in that Crystal Feather we just got. Alright, so, back already? Ah, I see you defeated that nasty Peacock Spider. May I have that Crystal it dropped? Yes, you may. Yes, this is a genuine deal. Here's here's your award. Another last stand medal. <laughs> Increases an ally's defense by two when low on HP. Fifty berries. Oh, well, would you look at that? You actually did it. Yup, all the baddies are down. You weren't kidding, Doppel. They were quite troublesome to deal with. Yeah, the bounty bosses. Some of the toughest bosses in the game, honestly. Knowing Bulgaria is safe from these monsters is a great relief, especially the Devourer, unless you use that strategy. Uh, if, if you don't go into the Devourer with, like, a strategy in mind, you're gonna get cucked. Uh, ain't that the truth? I'll give you something extra for all the trouble you've gone through. Bondberry! Uh, we know what Bondberries does. They, they give us permanent, uh, 
one TP increase. Thanks, Doppel. Take care, you brave bunch. And you get a record for that, you know, an achievement, whatever the heck you want to call it. Uh, a better Bulgaria. Defeat all bounties. Um, let's use that bond berry. 22 uh, TP right now, so that's pretty good. And is there any other underground tavern medals I want? I mean, we could snag the HP plus. It's literally just that and poison touch and XP booster. Are you kidding? I'm taking HP plus any day. It's only two. And while I'm at it, I'm going to get luckier day. Uh, I'll, I'll use this next battle for you guys just to show you what it what it looks like but um I mean it's it's a rather silly metal all right guys so I've just realized something is now available to us actually and I feel very stupid although you know my brain can't remember everything so if we go on top of the defiant root in right here and we use V's fly and we fly over here we can snag behind this fortify metal grants leave the fortify skill which boosts the allies defense for two turns uh it's probably like two metal points it's probably like two or three tp to use like i don't know it's it's obviously it's not a very like insane metal or anything it's just kind of there it's just kind of there i guess you know not too not too crazy um, but it's not horrible either. If you use it on like Kabu. Uh, yeah. Alright, boys. So, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking around, uh, Metal Lake some more. And we're gonna be looking for... Should be in the northwest corner. Right here. Get off at this location. Logbook updated. So I think that gives us a discovery. Oh, fishing village right here. Thirty discovery thirty-five fishing village. Okay. Hello there. Who are you? Where's my brother? Seems this is actually a small village. They seem a bit wary. Have we intruded? Uh to think we missed this settlement during our mission. It's a nice place. That's why exploring's fun. There's secrets everywhere. They seem a bit worried. Have we intruded? Uh. Guys. Spot. Spot the secret guy. Do you see him? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ah, you found me! Please don't tell anyone I'm here. Take this. Heal plus metal. Uh, keep this a secret, please. <laughs> yeah, so these are like stick bugs, I guess. I, they're not... I, I mean, they do look like sticks, I suppose. Uh, let's talk to this lad. Hmm, Riz there didn't raise a ruckus? Well, hello. Alright, so we got just a humble little fishing village around here. Well, let's go find Riz, or the brother that they were talking about. Ah! Where did you poachers come from? So this is the guy that told us to scram in the far wildlands. Uh, when we got near him. My village, what did you do to it? We didn't do a- Silence, you will never get away with this. <laughs> Alright, spy with Kabu, this is Riz. And we get unbelievable- oh, way, dude! I messed up my spy action command, uh, cause I was talking. Just for once, we don't want to fight. Just stop hitting us, girl. Those bombs can rack up damage fast. We'll have to plan all around them. Oh, you can throw bombs at us. Oh shit, that's not good. Uh, anyways, what's our strategy here? I I decided to redo the fight because I didn't like how it turned out, and the first time I just forgot to heal my guys. But our strategy is going to be taunt, life cast taunt, we're going to use a frost pie on Kabu, and he's got frostbite, so hopefully Riz is going to attack him, and, okay, just, what the fuck, 
You can't block that? Oh no! Kabu's inked again. This sucks so much. Our V's gonna, our leaf's gonna hard charge anyways. Um. And well, frankly, like I don't really know what to do. I guess we just do nothing. <laughs> stall turns, right? Like, just wait it out. Um, and then now Leaf can Ice Rain. He's gonna be doing a lot of damage. Okay, thank god I hit that. Alright, that's a lot of damage. And he gets frozen again. So he's frozen for this turn. So V's probably gonna get, uh, hurt here. Oh, you can block that, actually. Sweet. So that thing will numb you if you do not block it, so be prepared uh, to block it, because it can numb you, and, and it, that's bad, obviously. Um, anyways, taunt with Kabu. Um, Leaf can't hard charge here, so we're just gonna... We can cross pie first, because we'll have 21. Anyways, we're gonna Ice Rain now. And, uh... Do 6 damage here. Which is solid damage. And, uh, attack into Riz. And now he's pretty much gonna kill himself at this point. Cause look at that Frostbite! Oh, it did not freeze him actually. That's bad. That's bad, bad, bad. I thought it guaranteed freeze every time. But, it does not, actually. And at this point, we can just Ice Rain and kill. But, instead, I want to show off Frozen Drill, which is a team skill. And that's how the action command goes. It's a team skill with Kabu and Leaf. Uh, and I, I am not going to explain how the damage calculations work to you. It's really complicated on pretty much every team skill, on most team skills. There are a few that don't have very complicated calculations. But Frost Relay and Frozen Drill probably have pretty complicated calculations, I'm going to assume. Frost Relay has really, really complicated calculations. Anyways, know the village. Listen, we truly mean meant you with no harm. Yeah, sorry. Then you're not poachers? Nope. My, my bad. It's been tense with so many wasps around. Do we look like wasps? It's only my family and I here. We don't see many others. I seem the worst. My bad. It's alright. Forgive us for the smacking. What do you want, then? Oh, uh, we really just wanted to look around. Maybe help a bit. For a price! Definitely nothing evil. Well, okay. I'll let my family know of your arrival. Please don't disturb us, though. Well, we could kick your asses if we wanted, so, uh... Bow down to us. I'm just kidding, of course. Anyways. Uh, you seem like good folk, but I'm watching you. We've worked too hard for our peace. Riz was quite eager to start a fight. He's quite overprotective. Living in the wild's gotta put you on edge. I hope we can move past our fight and become good friends. Hey, uh, you're from the big, big sand city, right? Well, no, we've been there. But we've been there, young lass. Really? Is it true there's a big sweet maker? Yes, there's a baker. Same thing, probably. Cool, you know, bro brings us food every day, even if dad fishes. But it's super salty. I wish we I could eat some sweets, like a nutty cake. Say nothing more, you precious child. We'll get it. <laughs> and that gives us a quest, actually. It's a perfect day to fish for worms, ain't it? <laughs> Yeah. Alright, well, let's get her that nutty cake. Alrighty, so let's just head to the fine route. Let's say, you know, let's head to Crisby. And I mean, she said she wanted it from the baker. You can, ma you can, um, make a nutty cake with a bag of flour and a hard seed if you want. But we're just gonna buy the nutty cake from here. Thank you, Crisby. Love you, boy. Alright, let's go back to, uh,. Let's get back to Riza. And the thing is now, when you go here, it says get off at Fishing Village. Instead of get off at this location. Anyways, we can talk to Riza. Got the cake? The super nutty cake? Yay! Oi, what's that? What are you giving to my sister? Chill out, it's just cake. Super yum cake. Cake? 
You don't know what cake is? Or no, not really. Preposterous. Here, try some. Whoa, incredible! Sweets are the best! Yeah, thanks. Uh, I have to share with bro, too. I'll have to go to the city and get some for father. Oh, here's something I found earlier. You can have it. Crystal berry. Thanks. Can't wait until next time I eat it. Yummy! <laughs> okay. Well, that's that little quest complete. It's cool, you know. I just like this little... Lore book. Okay, I'm glad I didn't miss that, actually. That would have been kind of annoying if I missed that. I'm sure one person... Actually, probably not. Anyways, <laughs> I found the lore book in the end, and I'm happy I did. Because then I would have had to go back for it probably way later. Um, I'd be like, where the hell is this war book? But I found it, thankfully. It was not in my notes. Um, okay. Oh, oops. Uh, the Deadlands. The gigantic feral beasts that surround Bulgaria. It's uncanny how we've gotten used to them. Elzant the first. Brave the Deadlands, riddled with those creatures to ensure our peace. Although Bulgaria is protected by the Mother Crystal, I struggle to write when I think of what could happen should that crystal lose its power. Um, very interesting. Oh, wait, I should check my discoveries. I probably have a good amount of them. Do I have 45? 47! We're even close. Another crystal berry. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we're almost at, we've almost gotten every discovery, there's just a few missing, 43, 49, and 50, and it turns out that out of those discoveries, I'm actually, can already get one of those, it's in the termite kingdom, oh my gosh, you're so adorable, um, anyways, if we go to the bomb shop and we go up here we go to the roof I freaking knew there was something suspicious up here I was looking around and I was like what the heck do you like what do you do um yeah, so if you go over to this corner, the camera perspective changes a little bit, and you can look at the Coliseum, and you can talk. The Coliseum is massive, even the Ant Hill Palace does not quite reach this scale. Such a large building just to celebrate fighting. What's wrong with that? Showing off your cool moves is great. I guess it'd depend on how willing the fighters are, Elzant. We wonder what your thoughts on this building were. And that gives you a discovery for the Termite Coliseum, I believe, yes. And we only have two discoveries left, so... Yeah, I kind of missed this. But, now I got it, so... Whatever. Alright, so we are going to be going to Artist, because... We just beat Riz, so we're gonna see what he gives us. Uh, please, something good. Berry Finder Metal. Increases berries found after defeating enemies. Um, very weird metal. I mean, obviously, it's like... I don't know, it's one of these metals that I can't really speak to being good. I don't know if it's good. I mean, if you're grinding, fighting enemies, like... Uh, it's really effective to grind the Chomper Cave. That's the one money-making method I haven't really showed. You can grind the Chomper Cave with, like, Ice Rain pretty easily. You just, like, Ice Rain. You equip Hard Hits, which you can buy from Marib Shop. Um, and you just Ice Rain the Chompers, and you just kill them really easily, hopefully. And you can heal with the Venus Bud whenever you need to. Um, and... So you can use Berry Finder with that as well and get more berries out of it, I guess. Alright, so I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, I know we only did two things really, but I want to save the Termacade for next episode. 
I don't know, maybe I'll just do two short episodes. And then we can move on to Rubber Prison. Uh, I don't really care if they're really short videos, to be honest. Like, it's like whatever to me, you know? Like, you know, I'll just give you guys short videos. And, uh, we'll see if it works out. Like, I'll literally just do Termicade next episode, and that's it, probably. Um, but if I, any if I find anything else to do, I will, I guess. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, cause I sure did. I thought the strategies were kinda interesting this episode, at least, a little bit. Um, and I hope you guys look forward to what's to come next. Uh, see you guys then, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.